Okay, <laughs> thank you so much for coming on the show. Today we're gonna have Reda san.外国人。日本のある田舎を訪問した時、近所の人々がこんな話をしていた。山田。外国人が増えてきたね。大村。そうよね。駅の近くのアパートにはアジア系の外国人がたくさん住んでるよ。最近いろいろな問題も増えてきてるみたいよ。山田。外国人だから問題を起こすって偏見になるでしょ。大村。でも、ゴミの日が決まっているのに、その前の日にゴミを出したり、プラスチックや紙を分けなかったり、いろいろ
so yeah it's that's right it, i i agree with you anything else what do you think of Hancho san? <laughs> yeah, well, so ja, I mean, that I didn't know that I knew that word from English slang, like head honcho, mm -hmm. but this is where this, this is the original uh, use. I mean, this is where American, I guess, GIs learned it from living in occupied Japan. But yeah, it was, it's fun to, to see how the neighborhoods are organized and, um, yeah, I know that when I was in Japan, I struggled with knowing how to deal with the garbage. And uh, it's true. They just, our gaikoku jin just need to be uh, shown. <laughs> Bring the community good together and helping each other. It would be good, I would think that too, that uh, bring this to the classroom and make it into a discussion. Yeah. Yeah, how, or maybe I will maybe think of uh, students community, see if they're doing something like that. Oh yeah, you know, <laughs> actually this story is, I mean, it, it talks about immigration and, and, and or it, it's a confluence of two important subjects, recycling and, okay. you know, sustainability. Mm -hmm. So this story, yeah, also has an intersection there. Like our school has a green team, you know, and um, we could learn Americans could learn a lot about the, the practices in Japan, about mm -hmm. sorting garbage and taking, you know, collectively taking care of it. Uh, when I came to the United States, you know, mm. the way I learned how to speak English or be able to understand English is because uh, English speaking people were willing to tell me in English. Didn't matter if I understood or not, but it maybe with a gesture too. And so like, okay, you put this in here, put this in there, stuff like that. So it makes it, that makes, I like this suggestion that do not intimidate because do not give up because we may not have the language that we can speak together to each other, but gesture and that, that makes the community unite. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is a good opportunity to learn that language too, by showing, yeah. by the action. It's true. Yeah. And even if you, yeah, even if you don't know the words, at least you can mm -hmm. gesture. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I like this story very much. Oh, good. Thank yeah. You. All right, so that was the Google map. Oh, Google map was, uh, that's a different story. So this was a series of, uh, this is the third one to talk about uh, all these microaggression and- uh, What uh, section is this under in, in oh. the teacher's resource? Oh, thank you. Okay. Uh, this is our home. Ah, equality. Equality. Mm -hmm. So it's in the Sekai no Kadai Global Challenges. Okay. So you go there and then you will find uh, there are three, four sections. And the okay. first one, this is where the story was in. I see. So here is uh, Keiko san. And then LGBT. Yeah, I, after my experience, my personal experience reading this is encouraging to me. So, um, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, effort. Sensei. And uh, <laughs> all your comments, I think is really valuable have you here and thank you uh, give us some comments and um yeah give us a comment audience japanese teachers educators and uh, we'll unite and we collaborate and uh, we'll come up with all kinds of different great stuff yeah yeah oh uh, i'm gonna go a little bit about oh yeah how was it Oh, that was, it was perfect because uh, prom no huku, prom, prom huku. Prom no huku. Yeah, yeah. So my school had a 
decided to have a prom after all. And so mm -hmm. I used your story in class. Yeah. And um, then we, uh, um, I pre, so that I wanted to make sure that, because I, I didn't want to, I just, I wanted them to understand it without lots of preparation. So I just picked a few less, like I was aiming for seven, no more than seven words new words. I wanted, so I made flashcards, Quizlet flashcards for them. And we uh -huh. played with those first, just for a few minutes. And it, and before we read the story and the, and the flashcards prompted conversation about the students, um, plans for the prom. And so it, it was a really nice little bonding, uh, time. And then we read the story together and the students were interested in it because it, you know, it was relevant to them. Um, and the story was about, Japanese students, exchange students in, um, in America. So, I mean, it was, it was, um, relevant to them and, and they, uh, they read the story and we enjoyed it and it was a lot of fun. And, and now I have flashcards and I, I made also some comprehension questions uh -huh. and I think I might, uh, just use those next week to just to follow up a little bit more because yeah. the the language in the story is really nicely repeated uh -huh. like the, some verbs are repeated in many forms and uh -huh. you know I, I'd like to take advantage of the time that we spent on that it was uh -huh. you know I, I brought it up just for fun but I think that it was actually uh excellent input for them so oh, thank you for that material you. oh good okay more student uh, more teachers were encouraged to use stories in the in the classroom. Yeah, the classroom. yeah. Uh, uh, like something fun to do. Yeah. Okay. Good. I just wanted you to uh, share. Follow up that. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll see you next week. Okay. Great. Thank you so much, <laughs> Sensei. <laughs> Hi. We made it. Yatta. 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 Sorry. <laughs>